today we are going to introduce you to the Hammer Editor and give you a quick tour of the essential tools you'll be using to construct your map. To get us started, we are going to open up Hammer, go to File, New. The four black windows you see are the different views of your map. Right now we've created nothing, so everything is blank. The top left is your 3D view, showing you how the map looks in 3D. The other three are 2D grid views of different perspectives, top, side, and front. Each of these views can be zoomed in and out of by hovering over it and using your scroll wheel. If you back out of the 3D view a bit, you'll notice a red and blue line. This is the origin marker of your map, the coordinates 000. Using WASD, you can also zoom in and out and strafe left and right while hovering over your 3D view. To fly around freely in your 3D view using your mouse to look around, click on it and press the Z key. This locks you into the window and this view works just like spectating in any source game with the added ability to use your scroll wheel to move faster. This is really helpful. You can also change what type of view any of these are by clicking in the text in the top left corner of each window. It's not going to change anything visually just yet, but we're going to click on camera and click on 3D texture to start off. This makes the 3D view show anything we create as solid texture geometry. Moving over to the left hand toolbar, the important tools to know starting off are the selection tool, which is used to isolate an object or group of objects we want to manipulate, the entity tool, which is how we place models or other entities like player spawns and lighting. Um, this is only a fraction of what this tool can create, but we'll go into it further in a future episode. Next is the block or brush creation tool. These are the basic building blocks we use to create the geometry of our map. Floors, walls, invisible tool textures, volumetric triggers to activate things, all of these are brushes. Uh, next down is the texture application tool. Clicking this brings up a new window which we can select what material we would like to use using the drop down menu here. It also gives us a ton of control over how the material is used. Clicking on browse brings up every possible material we have, including half-life textures. Down at the bottom here, there is a size selection for how big each of these thumbnails display. I personally go with 256 by 256. Next to that we have a filter and keyword box. Uh, plugging in TF into the keyword box will cut our materials down so they are only TF2 related. The filter box allows us to search for common words used in materials. You'll kind of figure these out over time. Some examples are dirt, grass, concrete, brick, and the dreaded dev textures. Side note, I might have a lot more materials than you in here as I've collected a ton of custom content over the years. I highly recommend sticking to stock assets for now though, as implementing custom content is a whole other challenge that you shouldn't worry about at this point. Uh, closing out of the texture window, the next button down is the Apply Texture to Selection button. When we have a brush selected, pressing this button applies our currently selected material to it. In the next episode, we are going to finally start laying down some brushes and create our first room.